Hello there, respected teachers, honorable jury members, my fellow friends, and my dear brothers and sisters. Top of the morning to you all, wishing you the best for the day ahead. I feel extremely delighted for being here to recite a poem in front of you all. My topic is keeping you alive. This is an emotional poem by Hussein Manavar. This poem is a tribute to coronavirus victims. 2020. A year we all had high hopes for. But what had happened? None of us could have predicted. Our lives changed overnight and our movement became restricted. We met loneliness as isolation. It's not the same when you try to be social when you're distant. And I know there's moments that have passed. Moments that should have been celebrated. I know every community has sacrificed. Many traditions that are sacred. I know your pain just doesn't go away. Just because you hibernated. And I know there's not a manual on how you're supposed to grieve when you're isolated. So, if you lost someone you loved, you take the sound of their laugh and keep in the depths of your heart because we are keeping them alive. You take all the words they wrote and wrap them as hope because we are keeping them alive. You find all the dreams they wrote and you hold them close because we are keeping them alive. And somewhere deep in my mind, I pray it's you that I find because I have been keeping you alive. We couldn't be more proud as a nation of all the key workers, all the energy staff. We hold you all with courage and admiration. Thank you for your deeper level of understanding. Thank you for your bravery and your patience. And now we light candles for the goodbyes we never got to say. And we hold you in our hearts every single time that we pray because it's the love we have that will never fade away. It's the conversations in the isolation that really save the day. Have we found ways to come together to help carry each other's pain because we are keeping them alive. And in the words of Captain Tom, tomorrow will be a good day by Hussein Manavar. Thank you.